This is an excerpt from my upcoming book. The chapter is called Sex, Power and Pain. I lost my virginity to a punk boy on a mattress in a squat on the eve of my 15th birthday. The act itself had been disappointing, but even worse was the boy I had to deal with. He was stupid and immature and then left me for a friend of my sister. It was not a momentous moment in my sexual history, more like a casual blip. But however disappointing, it didn't end my fascination with the grown-up world of sex. A friend at school wrote about how I had lost my virginity in her journal, and her mother found it and read it. She took it upon herself to call my mother, telling her that I was a slut, and banning me from hanging out with her daughter. When she put down the phone, my mother confronted me about the news. Is this true, Polly? Yes, it's true, I said, feeling like a little kid who got caught stealing. She paused and looked at me, brow furrowed with concern. Did you use protection? Of course I did, Mum. Good. She struggled with the, to deal with the news. Her gut instincts screamed out to punish me, to lock me up in my room and throw away the key and ban me from hanging out with boys ever again. That's what her father would have done. But she wanted to be a different parent. She shifted in her seat and took a deep breath as she tuned into a more empathic, compassionate mindset. Well, I didn't realize you'd lost your virginity to that boy. No wonder you were up so upset when he started hanging out with Sam's friend. I understand now, you poor thing. Yeah, whatever, he was dumb. It's a big deal to lose your virginity, sweetheart. Don't underestimate it. You're becoming a grown-up now. My baby's becoming a woman. She reached out to hold my hand. Mom, don't be weird, I said, holding her hand awkwardly as she looked searchingly into my eyes. I love you, precious, that's all. Don't listen to this ridiculous woman calling you names. Don't ever let anyone make you feel bad about your sexuality. It's completely normal and natural to have those kinds of urges at your age. You're a bit young to be having sex, but you're very mature for your age. Just be careful, take care of your body and respect yourself, okay? Make sure you use protection and let me know if anything ever happens that you're not happy about. I will. Thanks, Mum. I realise that this isn't the normal way such conversations usually go down. My mother, Rosamond Whitaker, worked as a marriage guidance counsellor. These days, she would be called a sex therapist. She was one of the best. Though it was the early days of sex therapy, her work was controversial even by today's standards. Many of the programmes she put in place are still operating today. But some of her more risque methods, like talking dirty to her clients to get them to loosen up, didn't catch on. She was a trailblazer and she raised me to believe that sex is a natural part of being a grown-up. When I told her I thought my, I might be bisexual, she said, I've had some lovely kisses and cuddles with girls too and I'm probably bisexual too. I just haven't had a chance to explore it much in my life. It's all normal and healthy, Polly. Soon I discovered that the hidden mysteries of adulthood shrouded from my curious young eyes for so long were trickier to master than I had anticipated. I found it difficult to meet boys. My intensity intimidated them and my sexual forwardness terrified them. I remember pretending to be stupid so that they would be less afraid to talk to me. There isn't a lot of cultural support for intelligent, sexually empowered young women, and my attempts to connect with the opposite sex often ended up with humiliation. After all the effort and potential pitfalls, the smushing together of body parts seemed decidedly anticlimactic. Everything changed when my best friend Abby discovered a magazine called Skin 2. I don't remember where she found it, but she showed it to me at school and it captivated us with its stylish images of leather, latex and bondage. A slick and modern publication, it showcased fashion and stories from a world we wanted to explore. With the 90s about to be born, we felt like grown-ups. We had discovered the secret, the hidden truth even my mother kept from me. Sex wasn't just about procreation, it wasn't even simply about pleasure. In those glossy pages, we discovered that sex could be a way to express power and pain, and its potential turned us on.